Hi, everyone. Uh, so just quickly, just to give a little bit of, of background, I know that we started yesterday talking about the integration of WASH and OCV, also taking into community <coughs> engagement aspects. So uh, the working groups, meaning WASH and OCV working groups along with GTFCC, we've been talking about this for a while. I know that there were commitments made uh, last year, even before I joined the working group. Um, but the, you know, there's a basic agreement and understanding that we need to have an integrated approach to the delivery of OCV so that it's not just a vaccination campaign, but it comes with a little bit more meat, you know, so that we have wash aspects really being integrated as well as community engagement. So we really want this to be something that's complementary and that happens uh, as, as uh, systematically as, as different campaigns are being rolled out. And those can either be reactive or preventative campaigns. So we're not um, you know saying one or the other is is more important uh, we also see it really as an opportunity to reinforce so I think as, as the wash working group particularly we, we are aware that sometimes we're, we're a bit of the underdogs um, in this discussion and so we really want to use the momentum of the campaign uh, to really see that as an entry point to take us to the immediate actions that we'll do to accompany a campaign but also to get us to the to really the investments that we're looking for in wash meaning the medium and the long-term investments so really everything we've been talking about today with the with the NCPs um, and we really want it to be something that bridges that divide we, we haven't quite gotten there yet but we do see that using OCV can be something um, that you know kind of brings us into the discussion and hopefully we'll get more momentum for the medium and the longer term uh, wash intervention as well as community engagement. So the guidance, we, we want to just put together a very short uh, technical brief, trying to keep it to about five pages, so it's really something punchy. Um, it, it's complementary to the NCP, so it's not a, a parallel process, but basically it's, it's to, meant to be embedded within a uh, country's national cholera plan. And what we're focusing on, particularly particularly in the guidance note is, is some of the immediate actions that you may want to take for, for WASH and community engagement, but also always keeping in mind that that has to be linked to the medium and the longer term. So ultimately we want to use this to really um, leverage getting more interest, WASH investment, community engagement in the, the targeted hotspots. So that's, that's the thinking here. Um, <clears throat> so we've included a table for now, in, and we're not going to go through it. This, this, we, we'll know where we're going with this when we get to the next steps. But just to give um, countries some ideas of what they can be doing, and maybe some of these work um, as actions or activities more in a reactive campaign than a preventative campaign. But um, we've tried to look at what we could do in terms of water, what we can do in terms of uh, sanitation as well as environmental sanitation that David was mentioning earlier. Um, so there's ranges, and it, it's nothing new. We've, we've seen it before. We know that um, countries are also doing this. They may not be doing it um, within the time period of the campaign, or maybe you know we want to really make sure that there's momentum. So it's not to say that you have to do this entire activity within the five days of the planned campaign, but the idea is to have some kickoff, use that momentum, and um, continue these activities, and then hopefully expand them out to the medium and, and the longer term. Chlorinating water, um, we can see things like um, cleaning and decommissioning of areas uh, that are used for open defecation. So really just trying to, to, to bring that momentum. So I won't go through it one by one because I know we're, we're tight on time, but we've also included um, health and hygiene as well as community engagement. So also training of teams, uh, community workers, uh, working with leaders, uh, doing community awareness campaigns door to door. So again, these are all very basic activities that we know are happening uh, in countries, you know, even countries that aren't dealing with, with cholera, but we're just trying to say, let's put this package together, let's roll it out um, together, reinforce the, the campaign, and then hopefully use that momentum to, to get more interest in investment uh, in WASH and community engagement. So we also wanted to take into effect some of the programmatic considerations. So again, in line with the NCP, we want to make sure that um, multi-stakeholders are involved, so they need to really be involved in the planning, in the implementation, and in the monitoring. 
um, of these activities and, and how those accompany the campaign. Uh, we also, obviously, coordination is important, making sure that uh, at all levels, so at national level and subnational level, that all of the right stakeholders are there and that this is, is this happening in a coordinated effort. And that's particularly because, you know, it, it takes time, resources, logistics, um, and, and financing as well, which we talked about yesterday. Um, one of the things we, we need our OCV colleagues to understand is that uh, WASH and community engagement activities sometimes can take a little time for the planning, and it, it basically goes back to what I said yesterday, the financing, which can usually be uh, a blockage. And I know that um, the colleagues from DRC, they were mentioning that that was one of the blockages there, that you know they had an idea of what they wanted to do for WASH and community engagement, but they weren't able to get the funds to do that. So we do have to take that into, into account. Um, we also recognize it's really important to have training, so the training of, the, of those that will go out and roll out the activities, as well as making making sure that there's specialized human resources in Washington community engagement that are available and able to um, support those trainings and also just guide the, um, the activities during, during the the period of the campaign and, and hopefully longer. Uh, we want to make sure that this is you know, actively engaging and involving uh, communities and households. And again, it's what we were saying, what I was saying before, that we really want this to, to build upon an integrated approach and really set the scene in a country for raising awareness and uh, probably not so much maybe with, with the population itself, but maybe with the decision makers in country that to use this momentum to then look at wash investment in the hot spots and really making sure that we get to those medium and long term. So again, we're just using it as an entry point. This is all embedded within an NCP. So I know sometimes people said, oh, some of those activities are very one-off. What will it really do? It's not about being one-off. It's about the building blocks and really setting the scene. And we know that um, we've seen a, a traction around campaigns and around the, the vaccine. So we just want to kind of get on that momentum and also push forward the, the WASH and the community engagement uh, agenda. So next steps, uh, we plan to, so the document right now is, uh, has not been broadly circulated, but we will uh, have a small group composed of members from the WASH and the OCV working group to go through it. Um, we'll also work on a checklist, so that will kind of help countries in the planning stage, what do they need to be thinking about in the implementation and in the monitoring. And then um, we've had the suggestion to do a beta version in countries, so getting it out to our country counterparts and they're able to, to look through it, see if it helps them um, in their planning, and then do the finalization of the, the technical brief and the checklist, and then over to all of the countries. So we, we will stop at that point in terms of providing the, the guidance, um, and then we really count on, on all of you, the country counterparts, to, to use this and, and during your next campaign start to put some wash in there and put some community engagement in there. And of course, we're, we're always available to give technical support. So this should take, I mean, I don't know. When, when are we doing this by, Dominique? What's our, what's our? Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah, this was supposed to be done last year. So uh, no, I mean, we'll, we'll move through it as quickly as we can. Um, and again, this is, will be one of those guidances that goes up on the website and be accessible to, uh, to everyone. So that's it, thank you very much.